Hello and welcome for the round report number two between the world champion Vishanon and his challenger Boris Gelfand. You can see behind me the press center. The game has just finished. It was a short draw in 24 moves. Today Gelfand started the game with D4 and it was Vishanon who surprised his opponent playing Meran with uh, A6 on the fifth move. Vichy never played it before. The preparation, the home preparation was very deep from uh, Vichy. He said in the press conference that on, on the move 17th bishop f5 it was already um, home analyzed originally i think uh, the position was supposed to be better for white just after bishop e3 but uh, i had actually checked this and found that uh, bishop f5 uh, gives reasonable uh, i mean the ten, drawing tendency to opposite color bishops are important but it's um, i think bishop f5 is exact First of all, I thought that there was a danger uh, that I will not uh, be able to pose any threats whatsoever. But uh, for some time, I was able to maintain the pressure. Uh, but my opponent made a very clever decision to give me the bishop. That was uh, very the very good. next move after 94. Well, I could make an effort to keep the bishop, but uh, I was afraid that something could go wrong there. And uh, I decided that rook f8 would be safe enough. We had two rooks, bishop for white, and two rooks, uh, one knight for black. After 24 moves, Boris Gelfand decided to offer the draw. That was just a friendly match, so there were there was special rules introduced. Yeah. Uh, currently, uh, there is a uh, reception that uh, there should be uh, some anti-draw rules introduced uh, uh, because uh, some people think that chess players are just lazy boats who want to do, don't want to do anything. But uh, actually I know who is uh, backing these uh, anti-draw rules, so, but I don't think they are any good. Today we took the impressions of the former French number one, Joël Lottier. Bon, C'est un scénario relativement prévisible en début de match. Euh, il est clair que euh, Vichy, euh, pour l'instant, euh, rentre doucement dans le match. Euh, ne souhaite pas forcément forcer les choses. Et Boris, de toute façon, a un style très solide. Donc, euh, je pense que ce n'est pas, pas très surprenant, mais je, je pense que les choses vont devenir plus excitantes assez rapidement. Mon pronostic, puisqu'il faut bien en donner un, euh, mon pronostic, euh, c'est qu'Anand restera champion du monde, mais que le match se décidera au tie-break. Tomorrow is the rest day, so in the third game, Vishan on the world champion will play with the white pieces. See you after tomorrow for another report. Bye bye.